Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. It's no secret that most people know little about x-rays and their overall effects on elements and organisms. When it comes to an inanimate object, x-rays respond in different ways and in varying degrees depending on the atomic number and the amount of x-rays that are applied to them. Occasionally, a patient might have a candy bar, a bag of nuts, or some gum that they've left in their pant pockets during their examination. I'm referring to a chest x-ray or an x-ray somewhere in the upper body where the patients can keep their belongings on their person in their pocket. A patient may become fearful or concerned about eating their snack once they realize that the item has inadvertently been irradiated. Some may think that their food is radioactive or that it has been altered from its previous state. Also, when families are traveling through airports and their edible items are passed through the x-ray scanner, some may feel uneasy with the knowledge that their food has been exposed. Even further, some may not be aware that it has become standard practice in many food plants across the country to use x-rays to identify foreign objects and abnormalities in the food products. To start, the World Health Organization conducted a study in 1997 that confirmed that radiation levels up to 10,000 grays don't affect a food's safety or nutritional value. 10,000 grays is about 10 million times the amount that is typically used during food inspections. The x-rays have no effect on texture, flavor, or even nutritional value of the food. Although the arguments can be made that the edibles are affected on an atomic level, even on a cellular level, x-rays are only detrimental to elements that can reproduce because the susceptibility of cells is specific to cell division. The bottom line is it is perfectly safe to eat food that has been x-rayed and has no effect on persons that have ingested it. The other misconception is that food is rendered radioactive once it has been irradiated. But it is important to understand that x-rays and radioactivity that involves radioisotopes are two completely different things. There is no radioactivity that is associated with x-rays, either in medicine or food inspection. In contrast, some may have feared the idea of getting their food x-rayed, but have no problem exposing their food to microwaves. Microwaves have a significantly deeper impact on food than x-rays. They heat food by vibrating the water molecules, so it is quite easy to show evidence of disruption once food has been inserted into a microwave oven. But again, not so is the effect from x-rays. I hope this information serves as a source of comfort to those who have had questions about this. Thanks for listening. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner and I'm the radiology coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.